Plant medicine works on many, many levels. It's not just the physical level. There's a preparation and the experience itself and then the integration. What does it mean for me? You brew these two plants together for a long time and uh, then you drink it down. It doesn't necessarily taste great. Often it makes people throw up or purge, but it also has a visionary effect. Personal memories arise. New connections between thoughts are made. One memory after another was shown to me of situations in my childhood and later life. Maria Sabina maintiene viva esta tradición muy antigua en México, que es el uso de hongos alucinógenos con fines terapéuticos. Cada comunidad salimos a hacer peregrinaje para apoyar en nuestro mundo esa cultura que nos ha dejado nuestro antepasado. After they go and harvest peyote, they bring it back to their home communities in the highlands, and that marks the beginning of a ceremony. It brings in the rains and the moment to sow the first seeds. The root of iboga is used as a sacrament and as a healing panacea. It's used primarily as an initiation rite in Western Africa. An amazing byproduct of iboga and ibogaine is its capacity to neurochemically and physically interrupt drug addiction. When the venom of Buffalo virus is vaporized, it gets into the lungs very quickly, occupies the bloodstream and then gets into the brain. Many indigenous people in Mexico, the Seri, the Yaqui tribes, uh, they utilize this uh, ceremoniously to bring them into these deeper states of consciousness. Ceremony is essential. It opens the doors in which one feels safe. The, the love of everything in creation. Te hace enfrentarte a tus miedos, a, pues a quién eres y a qué viniste aquí. Psychedelic substances can show you that there's a truer, more authentic self. I see psychiatry and shamanism kind of coming together and evolving into a new paradigm. The earth has all of the medicine that we need, whether it comes from a plant, a mushroom, a toad. They're all gifts to help us.